Hey guys, it's Alicia. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm showing you all how to do a flexi rod set on natural hair. Hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. First, I'm starting on damp hair. I put my hair in these four large twists to let my hair air dry a bit throughout the day. But now I'm just going to take my hair down so I can start the styling process. Next, I'm going to section my hair into smaller sections to make it much easier to work through. I already went ahead and applied the Cream of Nature Coconut Milk Curl Repair Leave-In and now I'm going to apply the Curl Quench Foamy Mousse as my styler. I put a few pumps of the foamy mousse in my hands and just break it through a small section of hair. Next, I'm going to take a dime-sized amount of the Cream of Nature Shine and Hold Control Glue and rake it through my hair for extra hold. This step is totally optional. I was just trying it out to see if my flexi rods would last longer with the gel. I detangle if necessary with the Demon Brush and now I'm just going to take my flexi rod and roll it upwards. Whatever you do, make sure the ends of your hair are smoothed on a flexi rod because that'll make or break the results. Also, I like to go between the blue and orange flexi rods because it gives me the perfect shape fro. So yeah, I just roll the flexi rod all the way until it's taut and then bend the ends. So again, I section off a small amount of hair to work with. I then apply a few pumps of the foam mousse to the section of hair. After that, I apply a teeny tiny amount of the gel and rake that product through and then detangle with a dimming brush if necessary. This time I am using an orange flexi rod. I twirl the flexi rod twice and then roll the flexi rod the rest of the way. Towards the perimeter of my hair where my hair is shorter, I like to roll the flexi rods instead of twirling it. But where my hair is longer, I twirl the flexi rods to give a more elongated curl. Now I just do those exact same steps throughout the rest of my hair. At the front of my hair, I apply the Coconut Milk 24 Hour Edge Tamer to help lay my edges and then proceed to flexi rod the section of hair. And I do that all around my edges just to keep everything nice and neat. Now that I have applied all of the flexi rods, this is how my hair is looking. I will admit the sleep is uncomfortable, but totally, totally worth it. At night, I just apply a satin scarf along with the large jumbo satin bonnet to cover the flexi rods and call it a night. It is now the next morning and my hair is 100% air dried. For the takedown process, I apply a few drops of the Cream of Nature Essential 7 Treatment Oil to my hands and begin to unravel the flexi rods. If I feel that the curls are not falling the way I would like, I give the curl a twirl and then move on. Oh, and a quick note, I did experience some flaking which I assume is due to the shine and hold control glue. So although it did make my flexi rod set last longer, it doesn't mix well with the foamy mousse so I probably won't do that again.
After I have taken the flexi rods down, my curls were feeling so soft, y'all, shiny and defined. I just loved how the curls came out. But of course, I wanted more volume. So next, I'm going to begin to separate the curls and then fluff my hair out until I'm satisfied with the shape and the volume of my hair. I simply just fill around to where my hair naturally separates and separate my hair that way. And I did apply the oil to my hands again, so that way I minimize the frizz as much as possible. To add a little bit more volume, I picked the roots using my handy dandy hair pick and focused mainly at the crown area. If I do pick out a curl, I make sure not to pull the comb all the way through the curl because that will disturb the shape of the fro and add frizz. After a bit of fluffing, separating, and picking, these are my results. Aside from a few flakes, I love the curls, and I'm so happy with the shape and volume of this Flexi Rod set. My hair has a ton of shine, body, and definition, and will last me an entire week. I hope that you all enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. If you guys did, please like, comment, and subscribe. As always, I love you guys, and I will see you all in the next tutorial. Bye, guys!